I have been living in London for four years and I have never heard anyone saying Oh, let's go to Canary Wharf, it will be lots of fun No, never happens And for some reason, all I can think of is banks, bankers, bankers working long hours and maybe the riverside But the thing is, I'm pretty sure this place has a lot more to offer So in this video, we'll see what are the best things to do, where can you eat and overall, how has this this area developed. If you're new here, welcome! And of course, if you want to see more videos from London, like this one, or travel related content, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Now, the plan was to take the Uber boat from Millbank Station to Canary Wharf, but let me tell you, it's just a plan. 10 minutes before the boat departs and we kind of have no idea where we are going because of course we have never been like to this sort of pier just hope for the best okay looks like we should be able to make it now the only thing is today is a bank holiday i mean it's not just a bank holiday it's easter <laughs> so i hope that there is the uber boat because from here it looks quite empty let me tell you that Oh, I think I can see it coming. Real. Yes, I mean, I'm not sure if that's no, that, that, that the Uber seven. boat. Oh, I'm not paying seven pounds for that. Oh, no, that's a restaurant. That's a, that's a restaurant. What do you mean it's a restaurant? That's a restaurant. Don't you see the tables? Yeah, no, I see the tables. Well, why are they floating on the ground? was a little bit uh, underwhelming but to be honest with you I had no idea that there's so many people that hello, want hello. to use the Uber boat <laughs> our Where schedule just got postponed by half an hour <laughs> yay one hour later very sad news we couldn't make it even into the second boat because when they stopped they said we have only 28 seats and basically I was the 28th person but Ben was not in Inside. people skip the line yeah people skip the line and in the end they told me it's either me or, or him and we got quite annoyed but at the same time I had already tapped so uh, I really hope that they don't have to pay for this not really willing to wait half an hour more so yeah so in the end we're just taking the metro but I'm already quite pissed let me tell you that Canary Wharf. It took us Six. one hour and a half so far. And we traveled for literally 15 minutes. <laughs> Guys, something with which we should be really careful today well, yeah. is the fact that I'm actually not allowed to film yeah, in there's here. There's security literally behind us. Yeah, I'm not actually allowed in film in here and there is security so I, I, will, I will tell you in a second they have a very fun fact for you oh I love fun facts we are in London at the moment Yes. However, what you don't know is that this property is not owned by the government. But it's it, privately held. It is privately held by Qatar Investment. So technically, we're on a land in Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Qatar is in Saudi Arabia. Yes, yeah. but don't say Arabia. But I was telling you, since we're a little bit behind of schedule, the first thing that we're going behind. to do two hours behind. <laughs> yeah, two hours behind schedule. The first thing we're going to do it is eat at this new market hall that literally just opened. It's called Cargo and it is right behind me. The wait is 15 to 20 minutes because it's a bit busy, but this okay. is the whole thing we got. I'm already feeling better. That's right. Uh, I wish it would be a little bit more food because it's very little of many things, but um, let's try it out, let's dig in. The only thing which 
which I don't like is the fact that they have plastic, a plastic. But they run out of like, you know, uh, metal ones. We both got these uh, banana leaf platters and I have to tell you, we, we got them mostly because they looked really cool and they are also quite similar. The only difference being that mine is with king prawn and uh, Ben's one, it is with beef. You can put all the shrimps that you want, but the best part for me actually here are the onions. By the way, the Elizabeth line is going to be here. And apparently the best thing in here should be the rooftop garden, which some people say that it's as beautiful as Sky Garden, so Supposedly. I would say that they have quite big expectations. Ooh, let's see. If I was working in Canary Wharf, I would be in this rooftop garden literally every lunch break because it's quite nice, especially considering all the skyscrapers around, it's good to have some fresh air and some greenery around you. Most famous place where to eat in here, it is called Pergola, which is this one here. And the plan was that we should be eating in here, but then I was too hungry, so I didn't really have the energy Oh, that was the plan. Yeah, that was the plan. Classic fussy G scheduling. Oh, what a bird, a bird. It's not a bird. It's a speaker. I know. So you're saying that in, sounds come out of there? Some of them, yeah. I mean, I've seen some birds, but yeah, there's wider speakers in a garden. What, what are you, do you have to announce the birds it's time to fly? <laughs> Look at this fun and colorful tunnel leading us to one Canada Square, which is such an odd fun place because basically it is all offices. But I mean, jokes aside, this building is actually quite iconic because it is the third tallest skyscraper in London. And for a long time, it actually used to be the tallest one. But you know, after that, the shard took over. One and a half hours later, after we arrived in Canary Wharf and we still haven't faced the elephant in the room, which is, why is it called Canary Wharf? Basically, before, there used to be a lot of trade in here with the rest of Europe and especially with the Canary Island. There was a lot of fruit which was arriving right here at the pier and uh, even though it changed purpose through times and as you know at the moment it is mostly offices, it still has its name to remember those days. Here we are enjoying the fact that there aren't a lot of people here in Canary Wharf, which is not always the case in London. And guys, I'm gonna leave you a list of the companies that have offices here in Canary Wharf in case you're interested because, you know, I feel like this is what Canary Wharf is most famous for. But I have to say, like, because their offices overall, it feels a little bit cold as a place and not as cozy as Notting Hill, for example. You know, if you like seeing skyscrapers and modern buildings, I think you will really enjoy Canary Wharf. I mean, is it just me or this place really looks like New York? We had such a bad experience with the Uber boat that now we decided that we can only trust ourselves in terms walk. of means of transport. That's why we're walking back home. We'll be home by Christmas. <laughs>